Mr. Clark. Yes, Miss Levias. I have the progress report on the reading program. Good. Well, we're running out of time. I thought you might like to hear it. I would like to hear it, Miss Levias. I would also like to hear the kids in my office and Mr. Rosenberg and Dr. Napier. But I can't be in ten different places at the same time, can I? So maybe my vice principal can do something without me for once. Mr. Clark. Yes, Ms. Levias. May I talk to you for a minute, please? What do you want? I want you to transfer me. To where? Out of here. You know, this doesn't surprise me one bit, Ms. Levias. I have sensed resistance in you since our very first meeting. You're an ego, maniacal windbag. Who are you talking to? I'm talking to you. You like to whip people who can't fight back. I thought I could take it because I had a father in the oh. same kind of pain that makes you such a bastard, but I was wrong. Life is much too short. I will not endure you any longer. You will not endure me. And the only reason I haven't walked out and half the staff along with me is because those children need us here. Oh, the children. You're so busy talking discipline, you forget to educate. Is that so? Yes, that's so. Then what so. the hell do you think I've been doing here all this time? So you cleaned it up. That was the easy part. That's the easy part. Those children want to be helped. They have worked their hearts out for you, Joe. Done everything we've asked of them, believe what we told them. But I feel sorry for them. They're not ready to take that test. What the hell are you talking about? I have done everything, everything I, possible to get the teachers get a drink. It is always I. There are 300 teachers on the faculty here. You do not do it all alone. I don't have to stay here and listen to these accusations. You will listen. You will stand there and you will listen. All right, Ms. Levias. All right, go ahead and talk. For the past seven months, you've been flapping your mouth, and you haven't heard a thing. You haven't even seen what's painfully obvious. I'll tell you what I do, no, see, lady. I'm talking now. Let me finish. Everybody here may not like you as a person, but we all applaud your effort. But what you don't understand is the same people who support you, the ones that you're beating up. You don't even take the time to say thank you. A job well done. Nothing. You just step in their necks, constantly abuse them, Mr. criticize Levin, them. What do you want from me? What the hell do you want? I want you to get this straight. You are thoughtless and cruel, and it hurts. And none of them deserve it. They are sick of it, and so am I. 